Hi, it's close to 11 p.m. on April 26th, 2014, and this is Jenny Wallach. This is sort of an experiment of sorts. Um, I've been thinking for reasons that I'm too embarrassed to tell all of you, and they're sort of too sad uh, to um, begin to write. And I thought what, what might be able to facilitate that writing is if I would record my thoughts and the things that I've wanted to write, and then perhaps I have someone transcribe them. Since I can be a bit verbose and I really don't <laughs> have the energy to type this all out. So what I'm doing today is sort of, as I said, a test. Um, I'm reading something. Um, albeit quite significant uh, as to what's going on with me right now, but really more to see if my voice comes through well, if one can hear the words, and in other words, if someone who was a transcriber um, would be able to to understand this and, and do it quickly. Okay, so here it goes for whoever hears this. Um, this particular little dumb thing that I wrote was written on February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day um, in the year 2009. And if I make mistakes, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> um, it's called My Red Sweater, My Life Journey. There are many analogies for what we call the journey of life. And I, for one, have been guilty for using such as well. For how better to describe what is our time here than an expedition of sorts? Most people focus on the process of traveling to a destination, the trajectories which determine the form of the road upon which they tread, then allows them to be able to choose what road to continue on. This seems like a logical way to live, and one which will ensure those a direction that they can travel upon. I was not like most people. Wish I was sometimes. For some odd reason, I have found myself walking down whatever path was presented to me, and rather than think about which direction to go, I always seemed to become distracted with what lay along that path. Since I was a child, I've had this image of walking down a dirt road, grasping my trusty bicycle. You have to have something if you should tire on your way, I thought, in one hand. I carried with me a partially woven red sweater, lovingly being made by my mother. This still-in-the-making sweater always lay securely around me, and though this may sound strange, what I was looking for along the perimeter of my life's thoroughfare were matching pieces of the yarn of that potential sweater. In my younger years, I never understood what it all meant. Perhaps a shrink would have had a heyday with this, except that all the people and other beings in my life were depicted as pieces of yarn. Then, as I grew older, and dare I say a bit wiser, I suddenly put together, no pun intended, this idea that what I was looking for was enough yarn to complete the sweater so that it would be warm and safe forever. Thus I would walk and pick up these pieces of yarn and imagine how this bandana of sorts represented all the people in my life and I felt protected. This was my way of navigating my life. The sweater was my compass. But as we all know, life is not so neatly packaged and just as I would feel the comfort of that perfect wool, wool see, I'm making a mistake, perfect wool adornment upon me, it would begin to unravel. For people leave, and wool can break or not. Yesterday I woke with my sweater intact, but today it has begun to come undone again. People leave. They leave on their own accord. They leave because their time has come to leave, and they even leave before their time has not come. Uh, see, here we go again. I'm going to start this again, guys. People leave. They leave on their own accord. They leave because their time has come to leave, and they even leave before their time has come, or such is my feeling. Yesterday a being died. Yesterday another being began to die. Yesterday a being decided not to die. All three beings were, are, a part of my life as they had some point lay along the side of the road, and I had picked them up and made them part of my sweater. 
So the roses and chocolates and other essentials of the day gone by, Valentine's Day, seem to pale in the knowledge that some of my coveted sweater is gone. As the yarn unravels, I try to mend it as best I can, but I've never been much of a handyman and darning has never been my forte. So today I will sit and think about those wonderful pieces of yarn which I loved and hoped that they are and hope sorry guys and hope that they are as safe and sound as they were when they were part of my scarf. Thanks mom and dad for starting my red sweater. Not sure if I will ever witness it being completed, but boy am I so very grateful for every thread which has been a part of that sweater. I will always wear it to get through life. Ugh, I will always wear it to get through life. You see, I can't do this. All right, guys, that's it. Bye. I'm going to bed.